Hi friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to focus on five point checklist. Very five important things. If you do, you can definitely improve the productivity in the manual mobility testing. I am going to talk about in detail of this checklist how you can improve your productivity in the mobile testing world. If you are visiting for the first time Testing Shala YouTube channel, please subscribe to this Testing Shala. YouTube channel so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox as in when we publish that would help you to enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand one by one what are those five important tips if you follow that you can improve or you can bring better productivity in your manual mobile testing. The first thing so normal tester let's take example normal tester who is good in only doing a web testing and he is not well versed in the mobile testing if you bring that resources to your project your productivity is completely goes down because that resource doesn't understand what is all about mobility how mobility uh, how mobiles works what are the features each mobile devices supports it could be ios android windows that resource doesn't have any skill set on the how to use the mobile and also researchers should understand as well how this mobile operates let's say they wanted to configure gps or they wanted to configure wi-fi or they wanted to configure scanners in the mobile and if they wanted to configure the calendar events they should know each and every about how these mobile devices operates if if you bring any resources with lesser experience in mobile please train them in the beginning itself build the knowledge maybe takes few sessions to them in detail maybe two days continuous two day long training then give them the various devices which is available talk about uh, screen sizes talk about uh, the device orientation talk about battery consumption you talk about uh, performance of the devices you talk about any topic about mobility it would help to build the knowledge because when they wanted to lock the defect also they should know each and everything about mobile uh, they cannot just blindly go with the test case and they will test it and log the defect it may not be a good quality uh, resources if they do like that so better uh, put in them uh, one or two days complete sessions and help them to understand uh, the terminologies of mobility then groom them in such a way that and they talk in the mobile language all the time when they are logging a defect as well they should uh, they, they should be able to talk in the mobile mobile testing language i think that is a tip i am trying to provide in this uh, the first point so then let's move on to the second tip which i am giving here is which i am talking here is especially in the mobile device testing there are various devices available in the market we can talk about uh, ios you can talk about Android again you talk about Windows again iOS you have iPads you have mobile mobile devices even the same way Android also have tablets you have phones Windows is also having similar uh, things and you have desktop also, desktops also and with these various combinations with so much devices available in the market you cannot go and execute everything even if they want if you would like to go and execute that is fine but it is going to take huge time if you are not doing right planning so what i am trying to bring up here is when you are editing with the test cases for execution group them in a the right manner when you are grouping the test cases based on the use cases then whenever you are doing a testing in those flows most of the use cases or most of the test cases will get covered you should not execute your test case in a very random fashion that is not go going to add any value for your testing it is just going to consume more time you should put a right plan prioritize put a right strategy and club everything based on the flow which you are going to execute then execute if you are going to do that definitely you can bring higher productivity when you are performing test execution third point which i just discussed as well in the before point with more device in the market 
it is always do some thorough research and also look on who is going to use your application who is your customer which country they are belonging to what is the device usage pattern in that country you look into all those aspects and do thorough analysis then come up with the data go back to your pos and pms they will give a suggestion back to you based on the data you produce and based on that feedback then prioritize the devices for execution so with that because you are going to buy in from them as well that these are the devices which you are going to test and you should not target more than uh, five to six devices especially in the manual testing because with the resource capacity and it would be very challenging task if you're going to take uh, huge device sets again you limit yourself uh, five to six devices or worst situation you can go up to 10 devices and ensure that all your testing should be done in the combinations if let's say if you take 200 test cases you should not go and execute all these 200 test cases in again all the six or ten devices that is not the right strategy right you assess the situation assess your past experience when you're testing that functionality then put a plan and execute it that would give better productivity you can get best out from the your mobile testers then fourth point again which is an extension of my previous uh, tips the fourth point the fourth point which i am talking here is adopting the risk based testing approach because with so much uh, devices available in the market it is always go with the strategy uh, with the mitigation plan mitigation plan and get a buy in from the stakeholders and do execution right this is the overall uh, approach you need to take otherwise your resources your manual resources will get frustrated and if, if if you just put a plan in huge execution they'll get killed one day and they may not be able to find any issues and monotonously they're doing some job and finally they may quit the organizations as well keep in these things in mind when you're putting the right plan for uh, manual testers to bring higher productivity and your plan should not make them demotivate demotivate or reduce the productivity so let's move on to the fifth important uh, tip i am giving or point which i am talking here is you should also do some analysis who are using this app by the client what are the issues were coming being an history there may be already some of the incidents might have come from the clients or your own defects which you logged earlier see the trend which functional area you are finding more issues which device configuration you are finding more issues if you look on all this area and with the data you can bring different thought process and different way of bringing a test prioritization that would help to reduce lesser execution and with a higher productivity in the manual testers i hope you understood all these five important point which i'm talking to about to improve your productivity for your manual tester i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this video please click on like button if you are visiting for the first time the testing shala youtube channel then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox as and when we publish the new videos thanks for watching this video bye for now take care